I didn't know his legs were so good. He's gotten three times better than he was when I was training with him. When I was sparring with him, uh, I barely could get to him then. This is why I trained so hard for this fight. I knew him better than you all. And when he worked with me, I was about 228 pounds. The night I was 217, and he was hard to get to. I could catch him every so often, but just couldn't take shots when I wanted them. His range is good, his distance is balanced, and that was a good good experience for him. Really his toughest fight. He'll fight nobody no better. And I predict that I should be out of this thing in a year and a half, two years. And I, well, I'm good until then, really. But I predict that give him two more years, he's the world heavyweight champion with no trouble. I didn't realize uh, Mohammed's legs were as good as they were. So I'm, I'm just pleased that he had, he had great respect for my ability and got himself into first-class condition, which he proved, you know, proved tonight. Were you hurt at any time, Joe? Uh, I wasn't actually hurt. I was just, you know, um, sort of, sort of baffled a little bit about the cut in the first round, which obviously, you know, I would have hated if it would have been stopped because of that. What's next for you, Joe? Vacation. <laughs> Were you pleased with the action? Was it considered a good action-packed fight? Were you pleased with the action, fellas? Yeah, sure. Why you don't say that? Why do I say that?